Howdy, I'm Gary, Dillon Precision's Human Manual, here to bring you some tech tips on the RL1100 Progressive Reloading Machine. On occasion, you will find that as primers are deprimed from the case, because of the high pressure forcing the primer to wedge into the primer pocket, that when the old primer is pushed out, it will sometimes stick to the tip of the depriming pin and it gets pulled partway back up into the case. Then when you index to the next station, the swage rod will reseat and squish the old primer in there. And if you're operating it mechanically, you won't feel that at all. And depending on how you have your swage rod set, you may or may not notice it. But there are a few modifications that are easily made to the tip of the depriming pin to help reduce this incidence. So you unscrew the depriming assembly out of the top of the size deprime die. Okay. On the tip of the pin, first thing to look for is any burrs or sharp edges. If you have any, just use medium grit sandpaper like a 200 grit or finer to dress up those edges on there. Now there's a couple of different options you have for further dressing the depriming pin. You can either taper this pin to more of a point. You don't want it to be needle sharp, but you're tapering the end of this so that it's narrow enough that the anvil inside the spent primer cannot get jammed and wedged onto the tip. Alternatively, you can take a file or a grinder and you can flatten the tip of the pin so that it's a wide enough surface, again, that it doesn't get wedged onto the inside of the anvil in the spent primer. Either way seems to work pretty well. That's why we give you options.